Hi, I'm Jeanne, co-founder of AnyType. And here I'm, uh, I want to tell you what AnyType is. It's a unified user interface for a distributed content addressable web. So I think we all know that web is magnificent, but of course there are some serious shortcomings. Centralized data monopolies have access to all our data and can read our private communication. And with advances in AI, this, this creates um, a large risk. Also, usually the same kind of uh, centralized uh, monopolies decide what we see and what we can't and can mute voices of individuals and organizations. And in some places like Russia, where I come from, it's uh, pure censorship. In the last, most, most of the monetary rewards for the created content have been sized by the same data monopolies. And because their uh, business model is selling uh, our attention, their interests are misaligned uh, with users. The content addressable decentralized web stack provides us a better foundation. So ITFS in the future Filecoin and Textile represent a, a foundation on which a new web can be built. However, we are still using Web 2.0. Why? Because, of course, people use products, not protocols. So an interface is needed to spread the protocol. The same for example, as it was uh, for uh, IMAP pop free email client was this interface, or a Mosaic browser for HTTP, or a wallet for Bitcoin. And we think any type is this missing piece. It's an entry point to harness Web 3.0 capabilities. It's a browser environment with uh, creator's powers. So why a browser? Of course, so that pe people can uh, browse content. But why creators' capabilities? Because there is not enough content currently in Web 3.0, and we want to bootstrap its creation. And how are we going to do that? With the unified user interface. With this unified UI, people without coding skills will be able to create uh, web pages and services built on decentralized protocols. And with the same unified UI, they will be able to manage data in their data wallet. Because real data ownership doesn't only mean that you can access your data or you decide who can access your data as well. Most of all, data ownership means being able to work with your data, to change it, to modify, to connect it with each other. And that's why we think the same approach to building services and working with your data will help Mass to will help a lot of users start actually using their data. How unified UI is even possible? Actually, most applications like Dropbox, um, Asana, YouTube, Medium, Spotify, they are just uh, databases with content. So they share design principles. And we unify these design principles into blocks. Using these blocks, even a child can create a sophisticated software product. Each block in any type, of course, is, has a unique hash. That's why users can connect anything to anything with the content addressable hash links. And uh, of course, all of this is uh, built on uh, IPFS, textile, and uh, leap peer-to-peer. -peer, so, uh, so it's uh, a content addressable decentralized web stack that we are using. What kind of use cases are possible? They are numerous. Uh, but for example, uh, a biohacker can create a perfect, perfect health, of health and fitness dashboard. A management guru can create an ERP or a CRM for a specific area of business. Or a blogger a community mem mem member, uh, me community leader can create uh, something like Medium, YouTube, or Spotify for their community. And what's cool is that the domain experts who know more about the needs of, the, of what they need, of what their community needs, will, be able, will have tools to uh, make, to turn their ideas into products. And uh, I think this is uh, the whole goal of any type, to let millions of makers turn their ideas into products, I hope, used by billions of people. So we specifically target as the main, main, main uh, target the, the domain experts in their fields. So these power users will create tools 
for a, for a wide range of use cases, so a long tail of use cases which are not created or not tail catered at the moment. And the majority of users won't be, of course, creating lo lots of lots of things from scratch. They will be using things created by power users, but which will be really, really tailored to their needs. So the vision of the web, I think we all are building together, is uh, that each user should have um, rights for private communication and for private thoughts and should own his or her data. At the same time, each individual should ac be able to exercise freedom of speech and uh, no central gatekeeper should decide who can, who can say what. And uh, there should be clear and democratic rules of how um, rewards are distributed in this system where some people create content, some people promote this content, and some people distri distribute it and store it and create, create software that helps in all this process. So he, that was the vision of AnyType. The, we think that we are creating the web for creators, and I, I hope now to show the demo. Uh, so this is uh, AnyType. And this is the main screen of any type, and it says, hi, Jana, because my name is Jana. And uh, underneath it are all the, all the apps, in a way, that I have uh, created myself. Let's, uh, let's look um, how easy it is to create something. So this, this is a simple page which looks very approachable, and I can uh, name it and um, give it an emoji so that I can easily identify it um, because we really read pictures much faster than we can read words. And uh, then it's uh, quite uh, flexible and intuitive because you can add different types of blocks. And um, so this could be some headings, different kind of lists, checkboxes, toggle, or you can add other pages inside to create a uh, structure. And, uh, Every, every uh, block that you can see here is a um, thread in textile, so it's, um, everything is uh, content addressable, and, uh, um, and uh, that's why basically users are work as if they're working with uh, content addressable blocks uh, through a visual way. With drag and drop, you can move stuff around so that you can create different kinds of structures. Let's see um, what, this, what currently we can build with any type. For example, you can build something like that. So at the moment, we are focused on more on private pages, so each page is encrypted. And I can share it with uh, my team members uh, over here. And we will, if they accept the link, they will, we will be able to collaborate on these pages uh, in real time. And because uh, there is a a list of blocks and it's quite flexible. Each page can look quite unique and uh, it might suit oops, different uh, use cases. Other nice, th other nice things are possible, something like, um, like this. So uh, I can, uh, I can uh, this can be my task manager and I can, uh, for example, do a task and there is a page for archive of my task and I can just drag and drop stuff, and it will just go inside that page. Like, it should work like that, and it works like that. So, yes, I think, uh, um, I think this is um, pretty it at, the, at this stage. And uh, we'll be, we, will be able, uh, we will be adding public pages and uh, databases in the future so that people will be able to create more sophisticated software. And one last thing, I, I will show you how you can, uh, with drag and drop, add something to IPFS very fast. Oops, how to, one second. Go from, the, from this mode. Here I have, uh, for example, uh, a folder on my home screen, and uh, with, uh, just, uh, with just, oops, with just drag and drop, um, I can add, and it will be adding to uh, IPFS because uh, IPFS uh, node is uh, run on uh, my computer 
here you go. You have uh, everything that was in that folder already added, and if uh, there will be there was there would be an internal structure of folders inside, it will replicate the structure, and uh, it will be nicely here. You, I can change only the emoji to something uh, I want. Yeah, that's it. 